Now we will have some sort of learning objective, or sorry, we're going to have some sort of project, um, the Magic 8 Ball. So let's take a look at this. So the objective is to have a uh, Magic 8 Ball and get some things out of it. And the first one, we're going to have the const username equals that. Okay. Below this variable, create a turner decides what to use. Okay. It's actually going to be let. Um username equals okay so use the ternary expression oh god oh god this sucks const okay username that this is using a a um um ternary operation should or ternary expression don't use ternary expressions like this they suck to be done like this don't do this i explained this before but use ternary, ternary expressions when you are assigning a variable don't use them to shorthand your if else statements it just makes it less readable so to decide to, what to do okay so like jane use interpolation console.log hello Username else console.log hello. Okay. So you can see this. It says hello. But if I say Jane, it'll say hello, Jane. Okay. Don't do that, but fine. Okay. Create a variable named user question. Let user question. console.log user question and I'm going to say Q okay all right so now question if you can include doesn't matter okay so um, 0 and 7 const num equals math Dot. I'm not going to, I don't want to use floor, but I think it's going to force me to floor math.random times eight. The reason why I don't want to use floor is because it's less likely for it to be eight. Or, sorry, it will never be eight. It can never be eight. No, it can be eight. It is possible for it to be eight, but it is so freaking unlikely to for it to be eight because math.random would have to be equal to one. I'm pretty sure dot random will uh, is possible for it to be one oh less than one never mind it can never be one all right i am incorrect so check the hint and see how it works all right yep i know create one more variable called eight ball set it equal to empty string let eight ball great we need to flow the random number all right so um in this situation it can be a uh, num can be either zero one two three four five six or seven so now we want to have any of those be assigned to the num so it's going to want us to do a switch but there's actually a better way to do it switch num case zero um eight ball equals this however i don't like doing that you can do that for each one but i'm gonna have a little bit of fun and i'm actually gonna take all of these let eight ball equals an array so now this gets into a new data type Okay, so comma, comma, comma. Although we haven't learned arrays yet. Um, so maybe this is not okay for me to do. But you know what? I don't care. And then assign it to be num. Okay. So this is an, a zero-based array. Um, and so if num is zero, it's going to be this. If num is one, it's going to be this. If num is seven, it's going to be this. So it's just a better way to do it than the switch statement. 
but it's probably going to yell at me. Um, if you want to do the switch statement, go right ahead. But um, you know what? Fine, fine. I'll do a switch statement. That's the easier way to do it. Let h ball equals string switch uh, num case zero uh, eight ball equals, and I'm just going to do that break. Okay, and I'm just going to boink. Oops. Two, three, one. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So now, boink. Boink. Whoops. Boink. This will take forever. This is why I want to do the array instead of this method. Because the array is smaller and takes less time but we haven't learned to raise yet, so I'm cheating. All right, so 300 is a great, okay. And I'm gonna do a default. As well all right run your program okay save so this worked so um you can see that this takes like 30 lines of code whereas this takes 10 this is obviously a shorter and simpler way to do it um although it's a little bit more abstracted because we use an array instead um and we haven't learned arrays yet but this is the way to do it or that they're wanting you to do it but i'd rather do it that way because it's easier. And notice how it's going to work the same way. Save. Notice how it worked. Cool. All right. So magic eight ball, there are two ways to do it, or there are multiple ways to do it. There are a bunch of ways to do it, but, um, the way it wants you to do it is using that switch statement. So yeah, that's that project.